guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a try on and first impressions of the new Private Paradise collection from NARS. So I actually just got this in the mail yesterday from them and it looks like it's going to be available. Oh, is today July 11th? Oh, it is the 11th. Okay, so it's actually available today. I'll try to leave links down below so you guys can check it out if you'd like, but it is exclusive at Nordstrom. So we have a couple different palettes and you guys know I love NARS lip products and I do like their face products as well, which is basically what this collection is. So we have a little kit right here with four different lip crayons. We have a, ooh, my favorite. This is a four piece lip gloss set. We have a little two-piece lip balm set, and then we have two different face palettes. So I'm actually gonna try all these on for you today. I'll do lip swatches, face swatches of each palette on each side. That way you can figure out if you want to pick it up and I'll give you guys kind of my like overall thoughts on the collection. Oh my gosh, about lost my voice. But before we get started, if you're new, would love for you to stick around and subscribe down below. I typically post three times a week. I know I've been talking about this, but you guys, oh, I've been a hot mess lately trying to get content out because I feel like I've just been super duper unorganized and it's partly due to like my area being unorganized. So one of my really good friends, Erin, is flying down here officially the first week of August. I am so freaking excited. We are literally gonna gut my entire beauty room. That way I can get organized and have stuff like ready to go because what I love doing is just like I'm doing today, getting a collection in and getting a first impression slash review try on out for you guys. So that is gonna be my commitment moving forward that's what i want to try to do so anyways let's go ahead and dive in enough talking <laughs> okay so this is what i'm most excited about because this looks like a pretty deep palette so this is the nars m-o-t-u-t-a-p-u -T -T i do not want to mispronounce that but i believe that is the island that the owner lives on if i'm not mistaken this is such cute packaging too here's a close-up of it and yes, it definitely looks like it's going to be for darker skin tones, which I love when they do include that in a collection because I hate whenever brands come out with something that's really just for light skin tones or just for, you know, medium skin tone. I love that they included this and it's like a much darker version. I can't really see the bronzer that good, but I think it'll be fine once we put it on. So let's try it on. I'm actually going to use this like contour blush brush by MAC and we're going to do the bronzer shade first. I'm going to put it on this side right here. So far, it's going on really nice. It is, again, a darker shade. I'm pretty freaking tan right now. Like, I have a really dark shade in my foundation, but I went in with, like, a lighter powder. So, I feel like this would be good on, like, medium to deeper skin tones. I don't feel like if you're super duper dark, this may not show up on you, but just to kind of give you an idea. All right. So, just really concentrating that and even darkening it up a little bit. You can just tell how much better it looks when you have bronzer on compared to when you don't. Okay, next we have the blush color, which is a really pretty peachy shade. I'm gonna go in with this flat brush, which is what I normally use for my blush. It's a blush brush from Sephora. Ooh, that color is really nice. It's very peachy. Kind of reminds me like with a little bit of sheen, but do you guys remember MAC had this, maybe it was called Peachy Keen or Peaches and Cream or something. It was like super duper popular and it kind of reminds me of that. Okay. And then we will do the highlight. I like these little kits too because I feel like, oh, that's nice. I feel like they're really good, especially too for like traveling. That way you have like a really nice bronzer, a blush, and a highlight all in one. And I did not do any kind of brow bone highlight because I thought we might use it on this palette. So that's what we'll do. I don't even think I put any kind of primer on my upper eyelid, so I don't think it's gonna show up as good, but there is that. That is probably going to be my favorite one, I think. And this one is Motu Tain. Again, I am very sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. I wonder if this one's like the orgasm blush and stuff. That's kind of what it looks like. Nope, it's not. So this one has the, almost like the same type packaging on the back. Here's what it looks like. This one definitely looks like it's geared a little bit toward lighter skin tones as opposed to the other one. I'm actually gonna use a brush like this to put this bronzer on. It's still a darker bronzer though. Like I feel like I would be comfortable using either one. Put it kind of up in the forehead area and then on my jawline. 
I was like, this side definitely looks like it has a lot more, but I forgot I have already put on the blush and everything. So there's that one. Another flat brush for the blush. And this is a peach, a peach. This is a pink. That one went on really well. And it's very sheeny and shiny. And then we will go in with the highlight. And I feel like this highlight is going to show up even better too because, again, it's lighter. Lighter and brighter. Holy cow. I need to smooth that out. That's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. Okay. All right. I'll do the same thing and apply also in the brow bone using a different brush. Oh, yeah. This highlight is, I mean... It is good. I like that. Okay. I almost want to put it in my inner corner. Whatever. Let's just do it. Whoo! Look at that. Oh my gosh. What is this highlight called? Maqueta. No. Yes. They need to come out with this in a single because it looks good. Okay. So I think that the face looks really good. I really actually like the second highlight palette, face palette better, even though it surprised me. I thought it was going to be my least favorite. Now let's look at the lipstick collections. I'll go ahead and tell you these are like my favorite from NARS. This is called the Hot Tropic Set. And they're so good, you guys. Like there was a point where I was only wearing these. I have so many of them in like my purse and stuff because they're really, really pretty. So you have four different shades. You have like a light pink and then more of like a champagne, like rose gold shade, which is really pretty. And then we have, ooh, more of like a bright orange and a bright pink. So we'll do the brighter shades first. Of course, you know, you can top these on top of stuff. So I'm just gonna apply them there so you can see their true pigment. Let me zoom y'all in actually. Okay. So here is the light pink shade. Again, with lip glosses, sometimes they might all look the same, but next we have this brighter orange. The thing about these lipsticks is they're so comfortable. And I am putting quite a bit on just so that way you guys can see the color pay off. Here's this one. My lips are also pretty pigmented too. So just keep that in mind. Next, we're gonna do the lightest pink. It's probably like a very nude shade. Super nude, more just like a gloss. These aren't super sticky, very comfortable, and again, non-sticky. And then the last one we have is like the nudie sparkle champagne rose gold shade. <laughs> I'm gonna swatch these on my hand too, so you can see. Okay, so here they are swatched. I'm not sure if you can even tell, but this is like the nude shade, then you have like the more orange, the brighter pink, and then the light, light pink. All right, next we have, I'm so excited for this. This is the Afterglow Lip Balm Duo. I have this lip balm and literally it's what I was wearing right before I filmed this video. I wear it all the time. It's so comfortable, you guys, such a good lip balm. Oh, look, and these are like little minis. So the first one is probably the orgasm one. Yep, it's the orgasm one. I'm just going to put this on because my lips felt like it needed some balm after those swatches. So this is the little mini orgasm one. And then the next one is the hidden pleasure, which is more of like a purple shade. Again, at the end of the day, it's gonna go on pretty like clear as far as that goes. So the very last thing in the collection is the NARS Naked Paradise. You get four of the lip crayons. I personally prefer the lip glosses over the lip crayons. And although I am doing like a review swatch video, I would prefer to give these back to you guys. So I'm gonna include them on my next giveaway. But here is a close up of this little set if you want to check it out. I think these are really nice. I don't prefer a crayon over a lip gloss. I've been really liking the lip glosses lately, but you get four different ones and they are very wearable shades. So overall, my favorite thing in the collection has to be this little palette right here. I feel like the highlight is so freaking like bam in your face blinding. I love the blush. It showed up really well. And I also like the bronzer, even though it's like a tad bit lighter than the first one, I feel like it really does great with my skin tone. So let me know if you guys are going to be checking out this collection down below. Again, I'll try to leave links, but it should be available right now. So I love you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.